without further ado, I'd like to bring up um, really the brains behind uh, much of the operations here. Lieutenant Governor Mahisha Yasserik and St. Louis Park. Good morning, youth and government. So, my name is Venetian, and I have the absolute pleasure of serving you as the Lieutenant Governor of the 2014 Legislative Year. And uh, it's an honor to preside over what's now the 76th year of this conference. And that means 76 years of debating, 76 years of bill writing, 76 years of bonding, and maybe most importantly, 76 years of hardcore dances. And um, it's amazing to think in such a long, long time, so many things have remained almost exactly the same. I mean, every year, whether it be rain, shine, or snow, which I'm pretty sure we're going to get this year in April at this rate, um, you can expect that hundreds of delegates to stream into one room and engage something that's much bigger than any of themselves. And every year, regardless of how disappointing Trenton or Washington might be, um, delegates still come and embody the hope and some of the most important topics in debate with the most passionate um, energy. And it's truly inspiring and amazing to see how much energy is put into and released at conference every year. And as each conference grows and builds into something much bigger than itself, um, all of it can really be traced back to a certain group of rebellious kids, and that's all of us. Um, so this year, hopefully all of you have um, heard of the new additions to the Youth and Government family, but I need by a show of hands. How many of you are part of the ERC, the Executive Response Committee? All right, uh, keep your hands up. How many of you went to the last day of service? Okay, so you guys speak for yourselves. I mean, this conference isn't micromanaged or dominated by adult program staff. The changes I just mentioned, they were created, they were inspired, they were led by delegates who sat in the very same seats that you do. And um, you have every right and option to be the change you want to see in this conference. And that begins with understanding your role in conference and uh, how you have to embody the four core values that we, that we carry here. And those are responsibility, honesty, caring, and respect. And uh, these four attributes are absolutely essential if you want to make the most out of your experience here at conference. Now, um, if, you, if you catch yourself during the committee or whatever, um, talking to someone, exchanging opinions, and you find yourself is not the most considered delegate, be honest with yourself. Take that time to assess yourself and ask, how can I respond to that a little more graciously? And I want you to think about the level of respect you're displaying to someone and in return how much you're receiving. And uh, additionally, if you walk around Monroe Township High School or the State House later at a conference, think of the amount of trust that's been put into each of us. I mean, we're walking through the hallways of history, 76 years of history. And you're entirely expected to respect every desk, chair, and moment you have at conference. And if you just simply consider these values and take them with you as you go through conference, as so many of your peers have done in the previous years, you'll have one of the most empowering experiences of your high school career. And so like Uncle Ben once said to Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. This is your conference. Take it, run with it, make it your own. Thank you. <laughs> 